All right, a little background on Lucid Press, which you're going to use for your ComArt Anchor Book project. Um, what I want to do is is just give you just kind of a brief tutorial, the ins and the outs. You're going to be you're going to you're going to figure out more as you get into it and you play around with it. Um, I guess one piece of advice that I would have is have an open mind um, and and be willing to learn and play around with it. Um, and it's a it's a it's a pretty cool tool that we'll be able to integrate with our with our blogs. So um, to start, we're going to go to lucidpress.com. This is a Google uh, product. Okay, um, what you're going to do is you're going to log in. Yes, everybody has a username. Uh, or an account, I should say. Um, don't worry about the username and password. Click down where it says log in with Google. And you're going to have the option to log in under your Elmbrook student username. So go ahead and click um, where your Elmbrook username is, and this screen will come up. Now, mine is going to look a, di a little different because I've already created a document. But for you, you want to go over here, and we want to create a document. And it's going to give you a whole list of different templates. And over in this right-hand category here, let's search by brochures because you are going to be creating a brochure for your Anchor Book project. So it, it comes up with eight different templates that you can use. However, four of them down below are premium. That means you have to pay for them. So we're really only worried about these four up here, which is still a nice choice. My recommendation would be to go with brochure number three. Um, I think the template is set up nice um, and that it'll um, allow you to um, easily put in the information that you need um, in a timely fashion. Um, so we want to give this a title. Um, I would name it Anchor Book Project and then we'll call it uh, Quarter One. Click OK. This will automatically save, just like any Google document, and I'll show you later how to access your information. Um, so once you're in, um, the one area that you're going to spend all of your time when you start formatting is over on the right-hand side of the page here. Um, this has got information on... Um, everything from and as you click around the page, you'll start to see you'll start to see that that right hand side of the page change. Um, you can do different things with the borders. Um, I, I'm going to let you play around with that. Some of the very basic functions of this that I wanted to point out to you: um, if you click where any of the text are, uh, you actually have to click twice. Um, if you look on the right hand side of the page, I can see the font type, and if I click that. I can change that. Um, I see the font size. Uh, you'll notice as I start to change that on the left hand side there, it gets bigger or smaller. Um, I like to use that to kind of fit it as needed as I, as I start to kind of fill stuff out. Um, if I want to change the color of the font, I can do that here um, as well. Um, the alignment function, um, if I want to center a piece of text, I can do that. There is um, spacing options there as, as well. Um, so a, as far as the text is, is concerned, those are kind of the, those are the ba basic functions. Now this box here will go away. Obviously, if I click this triangle button, it will disappear and I'll just see the document itself, I can always bring it back. You see the triangle is facing the left now, and it'll it'll pop out. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to show you, um, and just one last thing with the text, obviously, as you click in it, like so. Once I start typing, I can put my own. Um, it, it's going to be a very generic text. Just highlight it, and you can start putting in your own info with that. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you was how to change the pictures. Now, for your Anchor Book project, 
you only need to have you, you're only going to have three pictures. Well, this template has got more than what you need. Um, so to get rid of a picture, we'll start there. Um, simply highlight the picture and just click delete. Or if you right click, meaning you put two fingers down at the same time on your mouse pad, you can delete it that way as well. Okay. Um, obviously, if I go up here, I can do the undo and I can bring that back if I want to. Uh, but some of these you're going to have to get rid of. Um, to change the picture that is there right now. So let's just say this middle picture right here, I want to change that. I want to keep it in that spot, but I want to change it from a flower to fit something for my acre book project. So over on the right hand side, you'll see that same image right here. I'm going to double click that. And there is over on the left hand side, uh, there's an option here for Google search. I use that when I created the example that I shared with you today. I think it's a great function. So if you click it, Google Images is built in to this specific part of Lucid Press. So if you go down here and you search for a picture that you're looking for, so in this case, let's say I'm looking for George Washington. And I search that. I get all these different images. So let's say I want to take this picture right here. Once I click it, it comes out to this area here. I clicked it and it came right out um, and put it right in that spot on my presentation. Um, within that picture, uh, once again, it, once I once I select it, I can resize it as necessary. Um, if you're going to resize an image, resize it from the corners. Do not resize it um, here or up here. The image will end up distorted. Okay. Um, the last thing that I wanted to show you, um, if you take a look on the left-hand side here, this is kind of our page layout. You'll see that there's two pages of this template that were included. You only need one page. Okay. So if I click down to page two here, we can delete that. So to delete it, I have it selected. I'm going to right click again. So I'm going to put my index and my middle finger down at the same time on the mouse pad. That is a right click equivalent on the Chromebook. And I'm going to select delete page. And I want to say yes. And now I only have one page. Okay. Um, everything else. Um, I'm going to I'm going to let you kind of play around with on your own. That's just kind of the bare bones basics to kind of get you going um, and playing around with this. And, and there's I'm sure there's stuff that you will come up with along the way that you'll be able to um, to teach me.